Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Edelman. What can you do to protect your kidneys and prevent dialysis or the need for a transplantation? It's, it's very simple, but not that easy. One is keep your blood sugars under control as best you can. Get your A1C down. There, there hasn't been one study in the history of mankind that did not show in a, a protection of the kidneys when you lower your glucose levels. Two, this is extremely important. Some people think almost as important as controlling your blood sugar levels. Blood pressure. High blood pressure will knock off your kidneys over time. Doesn't happen overnight. And since blood pressure elevation is fairly asymptomatic, you don't feel bad if it's high or low, you know, that's why you need to be screen and get your own blood pressure cuff, just like you have your own glucose meter. Know what your individual goals are, talk to your doctor. Third is you really, really, really need to avoid kidney damage. For example, if you take a ton of ibuprofen, these non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, that's not good for your kidneys. You have to take a lot over a long period of time, but it's good to know what medications you're taking and do they harm the kidney. And lastly, if you get into a car wreck and they say, hey, we need to get a CAT scan of the brain, let's give this person dye so we can see the scan better. You've heard that with a MRI or a CT. Some of those dyes given in high doses can also accelerate kidney damage. So there's all kinds of things that they can do to prevent that. You just need to let, for example, the doctors know that I'm a diabetic, I wanna prevent any kidney damage, and they can use half the dye, they can give you fluids before and after. I don't wanna get into too many details, but you don't wanna give anything to harm your kidneys. There you go.